Hey there, Eva here, and on this quick video, I wanted to just share with you how to purchase a domain name for your business using Namecheap. Uh, that's who we recommend to our clients. That is who we use for all of our domain names. Uh, we did transition over from GoDaddy onto Namecheap. Uh, their customer service is amazing. Their fees are a lot lower than Namecheap. They don't, I mean, uh, than GoDaddy. They don't have all of the uh, additional hidden fees that we were finding we were getting charged with. So that's who we recommend. So that's who we're going to be using for the sake of this tutorial. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to namecheap.com. And the first thing you're going to see is search for your domain name. So let's go ahead here and go through the process of purchasing a fictitious, uh, a name for a fictitious company. At this moment, you haven't even created an account yet. You don't need to, you can actually create the account after you've gone through the process, right? So, uh, for the sake of this tutorial, let's use, uh, pink flowers blooming and I'm sure that may be taken. So let's just see. How about we do this without the G? And let's just see what's available. Okay, so actually pinkflowersblooming.com is available and you can see it's $8.88 for the first year. It'll be $10.98 next year when you renew it. Uh, some of these premium uh, domain names, uh, like example, pinkflowersblooming.florist are a little bit more expensive. However, I do like to go the more traditional route and just keep the .com domain if this is going to be your primary website. Now, if you have a channel that you're redirecting to uh, be mostly uh, TV uh, video content, then you, you could buy the .tv uh, domain. Um, and, and there's other different examples as to when something other than a .com domain is suitable or recommended. But in this case, let's stick with the .com one. Let's add it to our cart. At this point, you will see that this drop down pulls up and you know they will try to upsell you on a couple of these things. You don't really need any of this, especially if you're having a company like uh, Dominate Local Marketing Solutions do your website design. Um, don't pay the extra, the extra money to, to add a website builder. You don't need an SSL positive SSL certificate, you actually have the basic SSL that's included already in your domain name. So no need for that. Um, at this point, let's view our cart. Another great thing about Namecheap that GoDaddy and other uh, uh, places to purchase domain, uh, domain names like uh, Squarespace, for example, uh, Namecheap offers you a privacy guard year, uh, free for the first year. So uh, GoDaddy usually will charge you, I believe, uh, I may be off by a couple of dollars or cents here, but I believe they charge you close to $10 or over $10 for the first year. Um, a place like Squarespace will actually charge you $20 for your domain name for the first year, but that's because they're including the privacy protection. Uh, Namecheap will actually just charge you the $888. That's what you pay for the first year. Uh, here again, they're going to try to upsell you. You don't need any of these uh, any of these upsells at the moment. If you have any questions about what you need, feel free to uh, drop your questions uh, down below. We will be happy to help. So here we are. We want to confirm our order. Everything we see here is how we like it. We let that's our domain name. It's a .com, and let's confirm our order. Uh, in this case, I'm not logged into my account yet. So you could see that either I can log into my account or I can create one if I don't have one yet. So in my case, I'm of course going to go ahead and create an account. I mean, log into my account. I'm going to sign in. And this is where I can complete my transaction. Um, you can see that you can pay with PayPal, but you can also add your debit card. I keep our domain names uh, with our PayPal account just for the, for the fact that um, PayPal is connected to our bank account. So in the case that you know, our, our business card is canceled because it's missing or lost or whatnot. Uh, I won't have any failed transactions. Um, I do recommend, I'm not quite sure if I mentioned it from the previous screen, is to have the auto renew on and uh, kind of as a safeguard uh, in, in the case and also select PayPal. Those are two great safeguards to make sure your domain name uh, payment goes through. If something happens that your, your subscription, your registration for the next year fails, what could happen is um, if it's if 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 the the domain name isn't renewed in time, your website can actually go down. So if you don't have someone doing any kind of maintenance for your website or, or making sure that everything is running properly on your on your website, no one's going to be aware of that, and your website could be down, and you would not even know it. And I'm not quite sure how Namecheap works, but with GoDaddy, for example, we had a case where the client had to pay upwards of I believe. 
Um, it wasn't a lot of money, but when you're not expecting it, I think I want to say it was close to $200 just to have their website up and running again, uh, which compared to having uh, uh, everything done from scratch is nothing. But keep in mind that if this domain name does not get renewed, you may not have access to that domain name. So put it on auto renew, use PayPal as a, as a, as a fallback in case the business card or the card that's on file uh, is canceled and you have an, a new one issued. And that, that's pretty much it. So it's that simple of a process. Once you have this completed, if you are a client of ours, send us over the information that we need um, and we will take it from there. So if you have any questions, drop them down below. And again, we'll happy to help.